time for our next community conversation today. We are joined by Charmaine White, Director of Transportation Department for Albemarle County Public Schools. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we are happy to have you. And I know it's been a hot topic, um, but last week notices were sent out by the school division to families of about a thousand students that bus service would not be available for the upcoming school year. Um, can you walk us through that decision process a little bit about how that decision was made? Yes, I, I certainly will. First of all, it breaks my heart that we had to send this message out to our families. Um, by law, we are required to transport special needs students and their homeless, and then we look at our resources. Once we identify our resources and what's available, then we look at our students who may be ac academically at risk. And so once we look at the capacity, then we begin to fill our buses. So again, uh, you know, I certainly appreciate our families and certainly we did not want to send that message out, but we had to. And we need drivers. I, you know, I make an appeal to the, to the community to be a part. Do you love working with students? because I certainly do. I enjoy working with students and planning for our students, and we ask our families to come be a part. Right, and I know you said this was not an easy decision, but this also doesn't necessarily mean these students won't be able to ride for the entire year, is Absolutely that right? Absolutely not. Yeah. We are certainly, as we work through the challenge of the situation, we're gonna continue recruiting. Um, we had a job fair about a week ago, and we had some applicants to come in, so we're gonna continue working at it. Um, no, absolutely not. It's unacceptable yeah. that our students can't get to school. So we're going to work tirelessly trying to make sure that we do everything in our power to resolve this situation. Yeah, and, and I know you said it was heartbreaking for you, um, but the other option that you all had as a division was far less attractive. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, last year we did double back runs, split out runs, and so we knew that we could not continue with students coming to school late. Uh, we had to come up with a plan that could certainly get our children to school and to not only safely, but on time. Um, so we're happy to know that at least 90% of our students will be coming to school on time, but we have not forgotten about the thousand students that yet needs transportation. Right, uh, you did have some better news recently when it comes to the hiring of new drivers. Can you talk about that? Yes, we certainly, we had, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we had a job fair and we see some movement there. We see some applicants coming in, some things look promising, but yes, they gotta finish the training, they gotta finish the paperwork and all the necessary things that needs to happen in order to get one certified to drive a school bus. But we are hopeful. We're certainly gonna work to make sure that we, we can hire. Uh, again, over and over, I will make an appeal to our community, our families, that if they know anyone that enjoys working with children, because this is indeed, that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about our students. So we wanna try to do all we can to get them to school, not only safely, but on time. Right, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. Sure, thank you so much for having me. Yes, we'll have you back again soon, and we will be right back.